file. In this video, I will focus on Queen Forks. A fork is a simultaneous attack on two or more enemy targets. I will begin with simple positions and then move on to more complex ones. The first idea is to identify your opponent's loose pieces and the second idea is to fork two loose pieces so that both cannot be saved in one move. Generally the king is vulnerable to a queen fork so look for checks which also attack loose pieces. You can pause the video at each position and solve each puzzle yourself for a better understanding of ideas discussed in the video. Take a look at this position. It's black to play. Can you see the queen fork? Black doesn't have to defend his king from checkmate on g7. He has a stronger move which is queen c5 check. Forking white's king and rook. After the king moves, black can pick up the rook. What can black play in this position? Queen d1 would have been checkmate if white's rook was off the d5. Black plays queen b5 check, winning the rook. Another example of the same theme. It's white to play. Black is threatening to play rook h7 check and win white's queen. So white has to do something about that. White plays queen e2, which forks black's king and rook. Now since you've become familiar with what to look for, I'll move on to some queen forks which are possible to execute in the opening stages of the game using four key squares, a4, a5, h4, and h5. In the opening, before the king has castle, white has two major queen checks, queen a4, and queen h5. Similarly, black has queen h4 and queen a5. These checks can be used to attack a piece placed in the center. I'll illustrate this idea with some examples. Here it's white to play. White has queen a4 check. After black blocks the check, the white queen can snake up the knight on e4. This time it's black's turn. Black plays queen a5 check and wins white's bishop on g5. This is a position which demonstrates the same idea with a defensive implication. Can white capture on e5 without any problem? Well, suppose he does. Although it looks safe, black can respond with queen a5 check. Most chess traps offer a bait and draw the opponent into the trap, so capturing may not be the best option. White should have just castled in this position. In all the positions discussed so far, the forking square was not protected, so the queen could occupy it straight away. In the positions that follow, the forking square has to be loosened before the queen can occupy it. Here white intends to play queen d5, checking the king and attacking the knight on a5. However, black's knight controls d5 at the moment. So to loosen the poking square, white plays bishop captures knight. After queen captures bishop, white can go ahead with queen d5. What can black play in this position? Notice that queen e5 forks white's king and rook. This suggests simplification on e5. Black plays rook captures bishop. After f4 captures rook, black executes the fork with queen e5. After king d1, queen captures rook. Sometimes the immobility of the king can assist you in arriving at a queen fork. Take a minute and see what white can play here. White plays rook g5, check. The black king has no square to move to. The only possible move for black is knight g6, blocking the check. Now since the defender of e6 has moved, white's queen can occupy e6. After queen e6, black moves his king out of check and white gobbles up the bishop on e2. In this puzzle, 
it's white to move. Notice that queen e5 check would fork the king and knight on g5 if the rook was moved out of the way. Thus white plays the simple but effective move g4. Black's rook is suddenly denied any decent squares. He cannot defend the knight. Now queen e5 check picks up the knight. Have a look at this position. You may find this puzzle quite simple now. White plays, rook captures bishop. Black recaptures with the knight and then the queen goes to f5. Here it's white to play. Black is threatening to play bishop captures knight after which the white queen will be pinned to the king. Hence white must react immediately. Can you see the best combination for white? Observe that the pawn on g6 is pinned. Also notice that the queen can move to g6 and fork the king and f5 square. White thus plays rook captures bishop. After rook captures rook, queen captures g6 and white has won a free bishop. What would you play here as white? White has queen a3, but that would be of no use right now because the black bishop has a defender. To loosen the forking square, white captures the defender and then plays the fork. So bishop captures knight, d7 captures bishop, and then queen a3. This is the last position for today. It's quite similar to the previous one. White plays, rook captures knight. After queen captures rook, white has queen e8, check, regaining his rook and netting a knight.